the book of Revelation. It's a hard book to read because it's full of visions and symbols that are difficult to understand. But they're pictures, and I began to have an idea that it would be fun to make a painting and put them all together. Hi, Shell Point. I'm Laura Slack, Director of Resident Life, and I have the privilege today to be here with Debbie Topla from Turban. And she is going to speak in the Academy um, on October 30th about a very interesting topic called Painting Revelation. And one of the sentences in the blurb says, Revelation is one of the most mysterious and least understood books of the Bible. So Debbie, tell us what you're going to talk about and how maybe you'll be able to bring some understanding of this book to our residents that attend. Yes, well, Revelation is a really uh, mysterious book, like you said, and it's, it's a vision that John had, kind of like a dream that we have, and it's hard to understand our dreams. Um, and I, I've been to seminary, but I never really understood Revelation, and so I spent a couple years um, doing uh, some in-depth study, inductive study, and one of the um, exercises it, from K. Arthur's precepts, some people might be familiar with that, was to just with stick figures draw what was happening in each of the 22 chapters. Oh. And I really enjoyed that. I never thought of myself as an artist, okay, but I, I could do the little stick figures. And then um, one day I was talking to a friend and I said it would be interesting to put all those 22 pictures like together to try to, to see an overview of what was happening in the book. And she said to me, well, why don't you do that? You think it'd be too hard? And I said, no, not too hard, because like I'll try anything. <laughs> and um, I said, I think it would be too much fun. Oh. And I heard myself say that and I thought, I think, you know, in your, in your mid 50s, I think it's better, better start having fun. And so I had a studio um, off of, next to our garage where I did my writing, and I had a wall. So I decided I would take, put up a huge piece of canvas uh, that fit on my wall. It was five by seven feet. And I just tacked it on the wall, and then I started figuring out where would I put these different scenes. And um, it took about a year to do that. Oh, wow. And, uh, my goal, and I didn't consult commentaries and things because there's all these different opinions uh, in the Christian world about what Revelation means, and there's pre-trib, post-trib, all these different uh, ways that people are trying to figure out what it means. And you made it to so, where what it meant to you. Well, no, what I, what I, that's a good question, but no, I, I have not come down on a particular theology. My goal is to... Uh, put up these simple uh, images of what it actually says. This is not a history, it's something, it's a prophecy, it's a apocalypse. It means, apocalypse means uh, opening the curtain and looking like behind the curtain, what's going on. Friends of mine would come to my studio and they'd look at it and they'd point to one part or another and ask me, well, what's this mean and what's that? I had this idea that it would be helpful to people to make a video of it. And Debbie, you're going to show this video yes, so the, yeah. during your um, academy class. Right. So they'll get to see this 45 minute video right. and then you're going to explain the different chapters. Well, during in the video, it shows the images and then I tell what the images are mostly without interpretation. A lot of my script for the video was the, the text of the, right Bible the Bible itself. Yeah, yeah. So I'm telling you the story. You see the, my very primitive childlike pictures and then hopefully you, you begin to get a sense of what, how it flows and, and where it goes. And so it helps to know what is the end of the Bible? What is the, the last you know, story in the Bible, and is it scary or is there hope? And I think that's there is hope, and that's what I want to convey. Okay. Well, again, it sounds very interesting. Um, October thirtieth at ten o'clock in the Grand Cypress Room, and we both hope to see you there. Thank you.